I'm captured by love, sweet song. I'm in love. Now then, just as Ulcus in alcoholic drink and take it down. You mean to say that this pill is going to help me become a father? I have every reason to believe it will. Wow, what's in it? Well, let us just say it will uh, accomplish a purpose. Immediately afterwards, however, a temporary state of amnesia may occur. Oh, amnesia? Oh, there's nothing to worry about. Oh, thank you, Doctor. You're very welcome. Bye. Patient Jeffrey Brooks, professional writer, traveling on world cruise with his wife, Sandra. Couple married four years. No children. Patient has symptoms of extreme tension and anxiety caused by apparent infertility. Normal in all other respects. Prescribed uh, five grains of salicylic acid, telling patients it would produce great excitement accompanied by complete freedom from anxiety and inhibitions. A simple experiment in the power of suggestion. Patient is, of course, unaware that the dosage is an aspirin tablet. It will be interesting to see what happens. Sandy. I'll be out in just a minute, Jeff. Hi, Andy. <laughs> uh, Sandy. Do you want something, Annie? Oh, it's all right. Not just yet. <laughs> it's only a hangover. Oh, Doc, if I could only unscrew this head for a few minutes. You know, sick as I am, I'm starving. Ah, uh, that's all part of it. Here, drink this. What's in it? 86 proof, 12 year old scotch, more commonly called hair of the dog. A match? <gasps> oh, Doc, I feel awful. You feel better in a minute. Oh, what was in that pill? A few drinks and bam, it's the next day. Ah, uh, I mentioned amnesia as one of the side effects. You mean I'll never remember what happened? The amnesia is permanent unless an alcoholic drink is taken with him 24 hours. But I just had a drink and I still don't remember it. Wow. Ah, it's beginning to come back, I see. Doctor, do you know what I did after I took that pill? Oh, I could make a few shrewd guesses. 
I was standing right in the middle of the room, right about there, and I turned. early to tell. I'll make another test next week. Oh. I know. It's a shame. What a big disappointment. Oh, it's not me I'm concerned about. It's Sandy. It's an obsession with her. She keeps knitting baby clothes, telling everybody she meets she's going to have a baby. This is going to be a big blow to the whole ship. Oh, I know. I know. Never seen a woman so determined to have a baby. I was counting on that pill you gave me. You said it was going to work. That's most discouraging. I know. I know. Too bad we've got to tell her the truth. What do you mean, too bad? She's got to know the truth. You think I'd lie to my wife about something as important as this? No, no, she's got to know the truth. Oh, Jeff, I'm so sorry. I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't wait another moment. I am. I know I am. Say I am. You am. Are. Oh, 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 I knew it. Oh, darling, I knew it. Oh, I'm so happy. I knew it. I knew that this time it just had to be. It had to be true. Oh, Jeff, I'm so, I'm so happy for it, darling. Oh, my goodness, this dress, I've got to get out of it right away. It's much too tight. See, I brought some maternity clothes with me, so I'll go to my cabin. Maternity clothes? I've got so many things to do, I don't know where to begin. I haven't even told Claire yet. My hair, my, what am I going to do about my hair? I know, I know, I'm going to let it come in natural. It's much more motherly that way. Oh, darling, oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, darling. Ooh. Ooh. Well. Thanks a lot, Doc. Thanks a lot. What did I do? What did you do? You put the whole idea in my head. I didn't do anything. You said I am you are. Uh, you mean such a good thing? When Sandy finds out the truth, we're finished. Finished. Oh, don't be ridiculous. It might not be possible for her to have a baby. Oh, are you kidding? Sandy's been checked and double checked. She can have a hundred kids. Two at a time, one doctor said. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you mean, aha? Uh -huh? Well, let me do a little check and double checking on you. Oh, well, that won't be necessary, Doctor. Really? See, doctors. Well, there's something about me you ought to know. Yes? I, uh... Yes? Well, uh... Yes? Back when I was in military school... Yes? I, uh... Yes? Had the mumps. No. How now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Grazing in the tall, thick thistle. Grazing in the tall, thick thistles. I got it. I got it. Well, good. Remember it. You never can tell when that's going to pop up in a conversation. An actor has got to keep in shape. Besides, it makes me feel well. You think I want to be the only one on this entire ship to be seasick? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Our little friend next door does pretty well at that rail. Gee, I'd hate to be a fish in this ocean. Sandy is different. She's expecting. She's not expecting. She's convinced. What's wrong with that? Now, look, don't you go getting caught up in that little mother act of hers. She's no more with child, as she so delicately puts it, than, than you are. You're kidding. Oh, look, here's an ad on our cruise. Picture yourself on a world cruise aboard a graceful ocean liner. You're cruising along at 25 knots over a gently rolling sea. Yep, it's rolling. Dining in Japan on succulent octopus. In Peru, enjoying delicious stuffed oysters. How do you stuff an oyster? 
Then on to glamorous cyan, savoring the exotic iguana. That's a lizard, isn't it? I think I just slide down. Oh, King. You're not going to go through that whole bit again, are you? I might. Oh, your fans should see you now. Go get them and let them look. Sandy will find out I lied to her. She'll realize we can never have a baby. She'll leave the ship at the next port. We'll get a divorce. We're finished. I don't think it's as bad as all that. Give yourself a chance. Claire King. You'll never guess what. What? I am. Are you sure? Positive I just got back from the doctor. Oh, I'm thrilled. Uh, is the doctor still there? Oh, poor King. <laughs> Who else did you tell? Well, you know, I came from the radio shack where I sent cables to everybody. And you and the radio operator are the first to know. Well, we're flattered. <laughs> oh, now where are you off to? I'm going to the beauty parlor. Want to come along? All right. You know what I feel like? A double dip hot fudge marshmallow sundae. <laughs> <laughs> It's no good. I, I can face up the facts. I'm no good to anybody. I can never be a father. I'm no good to my wife. I might as well be dead. Nonsense. Pure nonsense. Mr. Brooks, you're a young man. You have a whole lifetime ahead of you. I am told you're a very fine writer. I was, but I'll never write another line as long as I live. You want to laugh? What? You know what they called me? No, what? Hollywood's most prolific writer. <laughs> I'm going to be conservative. You're a genius. Oh, thank you so much, my dear. I mean it. The soft, undulating wave. The contour caressing the skull. It's fabulously perfect, that's all. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Like it? I adore it. Oh. oh, Sherry, please. Don't touch. It still works. I'm sorry, love. <laughs> You're a genius. Come on, Tulio, dear. We mustn't be late for lunch. Come here. Oh, Claire, Sandy, uh, you're just in time. You're both a mess. I'm celebrating. Oh, really? She's going to have a baby. Oh, marvelous. With the girl, the first permanent is on the house. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Say, is something burning? Oh, hold the phone, girl. There you are, my dear. My latest creation, burnt almond. Oh, I love it. Thank you. He is heavenly. And look at it this way, Mr. Brooks. Sterility is a complex problem. We don't know a great deal about it, but we do know that tension can be a contributing factor. But you already gave me a pill for that. It was all right as far as it went. It just didn't go far enough. Relax, relax. Sure, relax. That's easy for you to say. I'm thinking about your wife. You mean give my wife a pill? But of course. Only this time. I'm going to give her something a little bit more potent. More potent? The reaction will be more pronounced than before. Particularly with both of you taking a pill. I assume, of course, if you're willing to try it. Oh, of course, I'm willing to try it. I mean, uh, more potent, huh? Uh, more... <laughs> Shall we cut and bleach it? Mm, no, no, just to wash and set. I'm going to let it come in natural. We'll put on 10 years. Well, it'll go with the extra 20 pounds I'm going to put on. Well, now that she's going to become a mother, she wants to look the part. You mean it's really true this time? I just came from the doctor. Well, isn't that a kick in the head? Oh, no, it's no good, Doc. It won't work. Why not? She's not going to take a pill from me for that. Use your head, Doc. She thinks the job's done. Why would she take a pill from me? For a writer, you use very little imagination. You don't tell her about the pill. Don't tell her about the pill? Of course not. 
arrange for a private dinner party, just the two of you. Be romantic. You know, candlelight, flour on the table, wine for a toast. She can't object to a little wine. You mean put the pills in wine? Bing, bing. One pill in each glass. A sentimental toast and... <laughs> Imagine that, a baby after all this time. <laughs> it's a nature full of screams. Well, if at first you don't succeed... Yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to have any children. I should hope not. You're not even married. Doctor, if these pills work, my hat's off the medical science. They will work, I'm sure of it. Just follow my directions. I will. Oh, doctor, they won't hurt her, will they? On the contrary. Oh. Now, don't you worry about the thing. I won't, I won't. Patients are unusually open to suggestions. Prescribed two aspirin tablets, telling him they're even more potent than the first. <laughs> I get such a charge out of her. She's so excited about the baby. Isn't she, though? Listen, would you like to go in with me and we'll give her a shower? I'll wash her hair, Claire, and that's as far as I go. <laughs> the reaction will be more pronounced than before, particularly with both of you taking a pill. Oh, doctor, they won't hurt her, will they? On the contrary. It's almost time for dinner, honey. You ready? Sweetheart, I have a wonderful idea. Why don't we not have dinner tonight? Hmm? What's so wonderful about that? Well, I mean, not go out for dinner. I was thinking, why don't we have dinner here alone in the cabin? Just the two of us. Hmm. Oh, you mean because of the baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Because of the baby. I think we'd have a little candlelight, a little wine, and us. Hmm. Oh, that's marvelous. Oh, then we can do it. I'd love to do it, let me see. Oh. We can't be promised King and Claire that we'd have dinner with them. Again? Again? Honey, you know they expect to have dinner with us every night. I'm getting pretty sick of what they expect. Up to and including their little stranger. I'm getting sick and tired of sitting opposite of that stupid actor every night and watching him sprinkle wheat germ on everything. Where's my wheat germ? I uh, know you probably used it all up. After all, you only brought 15 quarts. A guy can get pretty air uh, watching uh, sprinkle wheat germ on his raw meat. I know, honey, but he means well. I found it. Oh, goody. Here, I'll hook me. I've got it. I'll tell him you're sick. That way we can have dinner here alone. <laughs> Why don't I tell him that you're sick again? That way we can have dinner alone. Well, if you think they'd believe it. They never believe it. It's happened before. Well, it's happened before. Nonsense. I am as healthy as an ox. Well, I... Good, sweetheart. It's settled. I'll order some wine right now. Just for us, the two of us down here alone. Oh, Jeff, I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? What's the, what's the matter with you? I, I think I, I've got a, a touch of morning sickness. Morning sickness? At 8 o'clock at night? Aren't you running a little fast? Oh, here's your yogurt. Strawberry. Shall we take it along? Claire, please don't. When you're expecting, there are just certain things that you have to expect. But you always have yogurt whenever there's pig knuckles and sauerkraut on the menu. Oh, sweetheart, I hate to see you suffer like this. No, I don't mind at all. I, I really love every moment of it. Oh, really? What about our private dinner? Oh, I better not. I better take a rain check. You don't mind, do you, Jeff? I don't mind, baby. I'm just thinking about us. Want me to stay in with you? Oh, no, no. I'd really rather be alone. But you go out and eat. Honey. Baby, I couldn't eat without you. I mean, it just wouldn't be right for me to walk. Of course, they do have pig's knuckles and sauerkraut. I could have that with a little beer. Oh, what's the matter with me? I'm sorry, sweetheart. A little beer, a little pig's knuckles. Hi. Hi. I'm just going for a bite. So was I. Yours down again? And out. Mine too. Oh, you know, we've had so many meals together, the whole ship's beginning to talk about it. Yeah. You're taking this news pretty bad, aren't you? What news? About the baby, I mean. Oh. You still seem to be in a state of shock. 
You just don't recognize happiness when you see it. I just don't understand. I don't understand this wild urge to leave your blood in the veins of some poor, unsuspecting offspring. <laughs> what is the population of the world, anyway? Three billion? Give or take a couple. I know we were told to be fruitful and multiply. How fruity can you get? <laughs> you don't understand. You just hate kids. I do not. King and I have get to the point of where we feel we're not enough for one another. Well, I'll drop to Northern. That way, we'll be making the world a little better place for some kid that's already stuck with us. Aren't you overlooking a little basic biological urge? Oh, now we then get the one about the natural urge for reproduction. Believe me, there is such a thing. <laughs> well, for the dear days before I was married and in show business, I remember all the guys were just loaded with that biological urge. I can remember the sales pitches now. Like, Look, baby, I've spent a lot of money on you tonight. Or, uh, don't say no. You're the first girl I've ever asked. Uh, but you can't send me home like this. <laughs> That'll be our bond. Don't fight it. This thing is bigger than both of us. <laughs> Two martinis. That would never work for me. You know, not once did I ever hear a guy say to me, please, I want to be a daddy. <laughs> urge for reproduction, my eye. There's a lot more urge around than there is reproduction. Yeah, yeah. You know, with the fatherhood potential I have, I should have married you. What's wrong with your fatherhood potential? You just made it. Well, yeah, but what a struggle. Uh, two years ago, I told Sandy I thought we should adopt a kid. And she wouldn't do it? No, every time I discussed it, she'd tell me about the postman's sister-in-law's daughter. What about the postman's sister-in-law's daughter? Well, the doctor told her she had a tumor and could never have children. The tumor turned out to be a bouncing baby boy. You know, they thought I was a tumor, but I fooled them, didn't I? Didn't I? If, if you think so, skull. 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 <laughs> Look at that moon. They've got to be kidding. Yeah. I wonder if they've got one like that for tourist class. Just a half moon. Oh, look at them. Aren't they cute? Do you feel that way about me, dear? Sure. Would I be here otherwise? Oh, dear, Tulio. <laughs> Excuse me. Claire won't be hurt about this. Oh, sweetheart, let them be hurt. This is our night. <laughs> you know, you're really very thoughtful. <laughs> I'm just thinking about us. Hmm. That's cute, too. Honey, I smeared your lipstick right on your chin. You did? <sighs> well, uh, voila. Oh, uh, Captain, I've ordered a table for two for tonight. I trust I'm not too early. It would never be too early for Madame. Après <sighs> vous, my love. Oh, merci bien. Hey, you are welcome, I am sure. <laughs> well, la tia, tia, tia. <laughs> A toast to the most ravishing creature in this cabin. You are ravishing, aren't you? Uh, half ravishing, half Lithuanian. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for remembering the old jokes, my love. <laughs> to my wife. 
Listen to the way my diction has improved. How now, brown cow, grazing in a thick thistle? It's cute. Very cute. It took me a long time to get it just right. Well, you artists are never satisfied. Did you know they thought I was a tumor? <sighs> Second thought, I think I had that drink. Two scotch. Make a double. about a concussion. That's why I brought you up here. You mean, you mean we spent the night here together? Apparently. And you were babbling something. I couldn't quite make it out. Something about uh, pills and... Ooh. Well, that's what scared me. That's why I went over there and looked in that medicine cabinet and I found something that looked like aspirin. I gave you one and I took one too. You gave me one of these pills? And took one yourself? Yes, and boy, I must have been loaded last night because I don't remember a thing after that until I woke up a few minutes ago. Oh, thank goodness. Claire, now you've got to promise me. You mustn't take a drink for 24 hours. Exactly what I was just telling myself. Remember now, no drink for 24 hours. Oh. Oh. Where are you going? To see my wife. What about the doctor? <laughs> He's done enough already. Oh, good morning, Mr. Brooks. Oh, excuse me, good morning. Uh, did you by any chance see my wife this morning? Yes, sir. She's in your cabin having breakfast with Mr. Banner. Oh. I'm glad she's got her sea legs again. She ordered Coffee Royale. Oh, oh Coffee Royale? That's brandy! Excuse me. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. 
I never slept so well in my life. I didn't even hear Claire get up. <laughs> Jeff didn't wake me up this morning either. I think he's getting more considerate now that he's going to become a daddy. Sadie! Oh, oh, thanks. Are you insane? It's boiling hot. Yeah, I am insane. You know I'm insane about my coffee and brandy. Well, then you're scalding yourself for nothing. That's just plain black coffee. Here's the brandy. Oh, no, no, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. I, I, lo I love brandy in my coffee. Oh, what happened to your poor head? I fell out of a plane. Well, your mommy will fix it for you. Have some coffee with us, old boy. No, thanks. I just had some. What are you eating? Finest tonic in the whole world. Oatmeal, black syrup, molasses, weed germ. Vitamin. I'm sorry I asked. But you were hungry, huh? Famished. Me too. I've never been so hungry in all my life. Yeah, that's all part of it. <laughs> well, oh. Well, I get dressed for a tournament. Me too. I'll be ready. Poor baby, how did you hurt your little head? <laughs> a trip chasing you and King last night. <laughs> Funny, I don't remember when it happened. Do you remember anything about last night? Anything at all? Nothing really after I left the cabin except, except, you know, that, that, that awful seasickness feeling came around again. My goodness, it must have hit me pretty hard. I don't even remember how I got to bed. You don't, huh? <laughs> but I had a marvelous sleep. <laughs> Thank you for not awakening me this morning. <laughs> oh, it's all right. You know, when I woke up, I felt like I owned the whole world. <laughs> I never remember feeling so good before. Never? Never. Hmm. Say, how about a game of deck tennis? Deck tennis? Yes. King entered us in a tournament. <laughs> Wish he'd stop being our social director. <laughs> what are you smiling at? Oh, nothing, darling. I'm just so very happy. At last we've got what we always wanted, what our marriage always needed. Yeah. You know, I think it's going to make the world of difference in our lives. It could. <laughs> I, uh, I suppose King got seasick, too, huh? Yeah, so he said. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's a riot. You know, we finally figured it out. It was all that wine we drank. We drank it so fast. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. It was the wine. Well, it's all over now, thank goodness. Thank goodness, yeah. It's amazing how it changes you, though. <laughs> I can promise you, I put on a whole inch around the top. That's impossible. You like my new sin? Yeah, what is it? My sin. <laughs> uh, figures. You know what today is, honey? Hmm? You know what day this is? Thursday? No, it's King's birthday. The captain's giving him a party. That's nice. You know, I just thought of a wonderful present to give him. It's something of yours. Something of mine? What? You know that pair of binoculars you picked up in Tokyo? Oh, those, yeah. Well, do you want to give him something yourself? I've given him too much already. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm so happy right now. I think this is the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to us. I tell you, if another catastrophe had come along, I don't know what really would have happened to our marriage. Sometimes I, I think of all kinds of terrible things. Sweetheart, we'd have made out somehow, wouldn't we? Well, anyway, it's silly to talk about it because we've been so lucky. <laughs> I wonder what King will say when he finds out we're going to give him a party. Well, he'll say something. <laughs> I know. You'll be in charge of the entertainment committee because you're so cute at thinking of wonderful things to do. <laughs> yeah, I always think of wonderful things to do. Already? Ready and waiting. Bye, Annie. Bye. Oh, uh, wonderful things. <laughs> Temporary sociological phenomenon. Yes. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I think you all know that this is uh, this little gala is being given in honor of one of our most famous passengers, Mr. King Banner, who I'm sure he won't mind if we all call him King. Uh, we all know of his ability as an actor, 
but uh, few of us know that he is one of the really great weightlifters. And I think with a little more encouragement from all of you, including myself, we would be able to get him up here to lift a few for us. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. He's lifting a few himself. Uh, would you hold it, please? I'd like to get just one quick picture. Oh, thank you. You love it. You're not ashamed of me, are you? How could you possibly think that? Ah, oh, you dear boy. Fine father my baby's gonna have. It'll probably be born with a hernia. And he doesn't even know how lucky he is. Suppose he ever found out, and he will find out when he sees the baby. Only thing to do is tell him. Come right out and face him like a man and tell him. He'd understand. We've been friends a long time. King, we've been friends a long time. There's something very important I have to discuss with you. Sure, Bob. What? Uh, you've been around a lot. I mean, you know what the score is. Sure. Wow, what a bill. I take pretty good care of myself, you know? Yeah. Wow! What's eating you? King, I have a problem. I mean, it happened when I was in military school. For four years, Sandy and I, we want, I want desperate, but we can't. I mean, I try, but I just can't. But I can't. You mean, poor Sandy. You, you married her? I have a problem, and I might as well admit it. I am just beginning to realize that. It's not the sort of thing you talk about. Are you sure right? Like I say, it started when I was in military school. No excuse. Look, Paul, have you ever thought of going to a doctor about this? I did. That's where the whole trouble started. He gave me these pills, see? I put the pills in the wine. That's where you came in. Poor Sandy. You like Sandy, don't you? Sandy is a wonderful girl. Then you can realize how this whole thing started. Keep away from me or so help me, I'll belt you. You'll belt me? That's a switch. You wind up with my wife and you hit me? Me and Sandy? Why, you dirty... Secret. I didn't know you were going to do this, too. Jeff and I have something for you. I Excuse can't wait. <laughs> Happy birthday to you from us. Oh, it's marvelous. You shouldn't have really given me anything. He's absolutely right. Oh, Jeff, behave yourself. He's a perfect physical specimen, isn't he, Claire? A wife can't testify against her husband. Next, you want to examine my teeth. And that's a good idea. May I? Oh, Jeff. Why are you so interested in dentistry all of a sudden? It isn't all of a sudden. I had an uncle who was a friendly friend of dentists. He was a friendly <laughs> credit. Anyway, I inherited my interest from him. You believe in heredity, don't you, King? Of course. Very possible. Good. So do I. Take off your shoe. 
Go ahead, I too, kid. <laughs> I'm quite comfortable, thanks. Come on, take them off. We can learn a lot from the Orientals. I take mine off every day. Solid comfort. <laughs> Cut it out. I don't want to take off my shoes. He's got a hole in the sock. I think he's got a hole in his head. No he's sock. got a hole in his sock, and there's no one anybody to know about it. For Pete's sake. All right. He's really smashed. <laughs> a liquor like fire. A good servant, but a bad master. Kingfish thinks so well. Yes, he's always thinking. He's got perfect arches. Perfect. That's great. But what's so great about normal feet? Jeff, Jeff, I think I had something in my eye. Could you aid me? She wants me to aid her. That means I'm going to get something in my eye. Connie, cut it out. You know how sensitive King is about his looks. And you can sit there and talk to him about anything, anything but. She's absolutely right. King, any insanity in your family? Yes. That's all right, Sandy. He's just joking. That's right, Sandy. I'm just joking. Is there? No. But I've got a friend I'm not too sure of. I'd better help you back on with your shoe. I'm sorry, old boy. I didn't mean to do that. That's all right. He has perfect reflexes. Perfect. <laughs> if you two boys are through playing footsies, I'd like to dance. Good idea. I'll dance with you, Claire. King, would you dance with Sandy? Come on, Claire. Up and at him. I gotta get my shoes. Never mind your shoes. I guess you stuck with me. <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> This way before. Oh, he's just exhilarated. <laughs> you suppose got into it? I'd say about a quart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Well, it's all right. Plain more toes where that came from. I'm a clumsy clod and I can't do anything right. Oh, I don't know about that. You drink a pretty mean drink. Thanks. I don't mind if I do. Excuse me, please. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen, with a little encouragement from all of us, I think we can persuade Sandy, who is the wife of King's best friend, to sing a little song for us. Now, let's have a hand for Sandy, right? Promise her anything. Promise her anything. If you're in love. Promise her anything. If you care. True love comes but once, so they say. When you find it, don't let it slip away. I'll promise her everything, everything grand. And if she's right for you, she'll understand. So go to her, a woman instinctively knows. Yes, promise.
I'm not good enough for her, that's all. Right. I didn't mean anything by it. No, that's oh, all right. Oh, oh, I'm, 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 uh, I'm, I'm, there you I'm, go. I'm, it's really not hey, necessary. Are you I'm, sure you're all right? I'm fine. Yes. Sandy doesn't know. She doesn't know what I did. But she's got to know. A marriage has to be based on trust. I've got to tell her. I've got to come right out like a man and tell her what I did. You want something? my latest play in New York. I, I, I thought it would be a tour de force. However, I was forced to tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a bore. <laughs> what? Now, we have glasses, identification, a darling, darling red one this time. Oh, really? And I should like to read a nursery rhyme for you. <laughs> Little Miss Moffat sat on a tosset, eating her curds and whey. <laughs> there came a big spider and sat down beside her and said, I haven't had decent curds and whey since they closed Romanoff. <laughs> For this next, I need a little production. Um, May I have that over you there? Thank <laughs> you, dear. Now, will you darlings make a little curtain a for little me? Curtain. Sure. Curtain, curtain. Mm -hmm. Kind of a puppet theater. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Up we go. <laughs> All right. Ready. Curtain. Oh. Hello, 
everybody. <laughs> Has everyone seen my beautiful new present? It's diamond studded. <laughs> it's a diaper for the baby that has everything. <laughs> now let's see if I know how to fold it. Oh, there. <laughs> Isn't that just too perfect? I can do her too. Isn't that just too perfect? It's diamond studded. <laughs> Oh, Sandy, Oh, I've been looking all over for you. Five scotch and soda, please. Hiya, Doc. Have a drink? Oh, <laughs> dear me. It's a little early in the day for that, isn't it? I hate a clock watcher. Uh, Mr. Brooks, you are a lucky man. How do you figure that out, Doc? I examined your wife this morning. There's absolutely no doubt about it this time. You're going to be father. More or less. Of course, I didn't let her see that I was surprised. I let her go on thinking that it was true two weeks ago when you told her. Obviously, my pills worked. Obviously. Why? A big pump? I answer, they have a drink. Oh, no, no, thanks. I knew you could do it. I knew it. Thanks, Doc. Why? Oh, well, let's see. Don't worry, Gerhard. I'll reach up the wig for you. Wasn't it fun? Wonderful. Did you ever see so many beautiful presents? Mm. Wonderful. Uh, Oh, thank you, thank you. Now, don't forget, we've got hair appointments this afternoon. I won't forget, and this is yours. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Uh, how oh, was the shower? Wonderful. It's a stank. I've never seen so many lovely presents. She's up to her ears in junk. And you should have seen the girls. And those broths. Every time she opened the gift, it was oohs and ahs and how cute and how divine. How nauseating. You're getting fat. I know it. You're jealous. I am not. And you shut up. You don't love me anymore. It's been a month since I've seen you sober enough to think about it. Ooh, King never gets drunk, does he? No, he doesn't. You sound just like your mother. It's a nasty remark. <laughs> and you meant it to be nasty. You know something, my own true love? You sound just like her, too. For your information, my mother is going to meet us in New York. Are you going to let her see you like this? If she's good? I'm not supposed to get upset, so don't upset me. If you want to drink yourself silly, go right ahead. I do. Leave me alone. Why don't you wear glasses? Don't be silly. For once, why don't you admit that you're not completely perfect? We're nasty today, huh? No, I'm just fed up with everything. Claire, what's getting to you all of a sudden? Now, look, don't you start defending her. Who? Don't pull that innocent act with me. You know darn well who. Well, what did I say? You don't have to say anything. I know what you're thinking. Just how many kids are you expecting? What do you mean by that? My mind happened to be an absolute blank, if you want to know. Look at all this junk. Your mind's always a blank when it comes to me. Maybe it's because I'm not collecting bottle warmers like little Mother McCree in there. And you ought to see that layette she's collected. If it isn't all cashmere, it's yak's hair. That kid will be seven years old before it gets over the itch. Well, don't climb on me about it. I had nothing to do with her baby. 
flares. Look at this. The kid's gonna be smothered in all this fuzz. I don't know what's the matter with you. Give me that. Oh, I suppose King would never say anything like that, would he, would he? Hmm? I suppose Sandy would never be nasty, would she? Stop, Stop knocking, knocking my friend. friend. I think I'll go out and get some fresh air. Bring some back. Ho, ho, ho. It's getting stuffy in here. I'm going out. I wish you'd just go away and leave me alone. If you're so miserable with me, why don't we just call it quits? Okay. If you want a divorce, you you've got it. We were just talking about you. So we. Read any good labels lately? <laughs> Sandy's got to know, though. You can't build a marriage on a lie. Not a lie like that. Sooner or later, I've got to tell her. You want something? See you later. Dinner won't be ready for another 15 minutes. Sweetheart, forget dinner. I've come to talk to you about our child. Oh, isn't he the most precious little baby? Yeah, he's precious, all right. But what would you say if I told you that that child isn't mine? Well, of course he's yours, Jeff. It says the right of the birth certificate. Forget the birth certificate. That child's real father is King. King. Oh. slide you over the side at daybreak. They say it's the only way to go. Want a drink? No, thanks. You're mad at me, too. No, I'm not. Wonder where that ship's going. Down. Enough of this. I'll buy you a cup of black coffee. Claire, I want to talk to you. Sure, after a nice cup of black, strong coffee. What a revolting idea. Uh, more coffee, sir. No, no, thanks. Now, you were saying? Think back to the night I bumped my head. Do you remember anything unusual about it? Well, it was quite a bump. What about it? No, I'm talking about you and me. Do you remember what happened to us? Well, as I recall, we spent the night together. Right, and I was knocked out. But what did we do? Oh, I just told you, honey. We spent the night together. Oh, <laughs> come on. Uh, perhaps Madam would like mince pie. Oh, I'd love it. But if I ate anything so rich, it'd probably kill me. <laughs> She'll have her to mince pie. Oh, Tulio, you're so good to me. Doctor said I shouldn't. I'll remove. Now do you remember? I remember falling asleep in here. But before you fell asleep. I remember giving you a pill. 
Right. Now, did you make love to me? Did I make love to you? I like the way you put that. Did you? You're out of your mind. Claire, really, listen. No, you are serious. It's like it's driving me crazy. At times, I almost remember it. Then, like now, it seems like a, like a dream. Was I fascinating? Overwhelming. You're an idiot. In the first place, I'm not casual with my favors. And... <clears throat> And in the second place, the doctor was right there with us all night. What was he doing, selling tickets? He wasn't there. He was too there. He was not there. And what about my wife and your husband? They were selling tickets. <clears throat> they were off dancing or something somewhere, weren't they? All night? Come to think of it, he never has mentioned that night to me. Not once. Claire, you ought to know everything. Are you putting me on? I hope to cut up my tongue after I tell you this, or I'll never be able to repeat it. your own baby that's why it's a fundamental instinct well look if, if you feed it and clothe it and love it then it's yours i found this out when i was seven years old seven i had a dog and this dog had puppies right under my bed and when the puppies died i went out and found a litter of kittens to console it well she licked them and she fed them and most important of all she loved them and believe me, they were hers. Well, if Sandy has a litter of kittens, I'll love them too. But just in case she happens to have a baby, it'll be King's. The baby is yours. Oh, sure. There's not a doubt in the world. I'd give anything in the world to believe that. Uh, I guess it's my turn to tell a story. I won't promise to cut out my tongue, but I would appreciate it if you'd keep the secret. Sure. No! King Banner? Yeah, I'll get you right here, doesn't it? All these years and he never let on. Oh, he doesn't know. Can you imagine anyone telling King he's anything less than perfect? Do you realize what you're saying? Precisely my words to the doctor five years ago. Good old King. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Isn't it wonderful? Wonderful. Oh, excuse me. My wife's having a baby and I'm the father. I'm the father. Baby, baby. Julio, he with me. Whoa. Captain, to keep my wife a baby. I'm, I'm going to be the father of the baby. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. My wife's baby's going to look like me. My wife's baby, like me. Well, that's a risk you have to take. Thank you. Uh, honey, uh, uh, u
I just realized what a lucky guy I am. I've been behaving like an awful rat. Where have you been just now? To a revival meeting? <sighs> Sweetheart, I, I just, I just, I just want to watch you knit. Oh, sorry. The show just broke. Claire and I have hair appointments. Then I'll knit for you. Think I can? <laughs> watch. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> All right. Behave yourself. Be a good boy. I'll be back in a couple of hours, okay? There you are. We've got hair appointments. Oh, for goodness sakes, I almost forgot. And that I couldn't afford. <laughs> Come in. Sober. Just an affectation. <laughs> Sit down, King. You look a little peaked. Oh, never felt better in my life. That's right. You're right at the peak of your powers. <laughs> Darn right. <laughs> right at the peak. <laughs> you should have seen him running all over the ship, yelling he was a father. <laughs> I thought he finally flipped. Oh, he just went on the wagon. Oh. Oh, strawberries and cream. I think I'll have some of those. Hey, yes, ma'am. Oh, make mine a watercress sandwich. I'm counting calories. Well, that sounds good. I'll have that. Uh, instead of strawberries? No, with the strawberries. Oh, strawberries and cream and, and a watercress sandwich. That's right. Mmm, the clam chowder looks yummy. I'll have that. Thank you. <laughs> I'll have that, too. The strawberries and cream and the watercress sandwich and clam chowder. That's but right. The olives are nice. Of course. Oh, and would you bring me a side order of those little sour pickles? Sour pickles. I just all of a sudden crave something a little sour. Claire, honey. <laughs> By any chance, would you be feeling upset, dizzy or something? No, I feel fine. I'm just... Oh, look out below! Where? This is picking up. Where's King? Probably in the gym. Why? He hasn't heard. I want a girl. What do you want? I want to throw up. Well, naturally, how'd you expect that? Why? Claire's going to have a baby. It happened just like that. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful? It's impossible. What in the world are you talking about? The doctor said you could have some boning for your nausea. I'll try anything. I'll go up to the pharmacy and get you some. Bring me back a few. Claire, I'm happy as anything about you and King. Look, dear heart, I gotta get back to the shop. Besides, this may be catching. Thanks, Babette. See you later. Okay. Claire, I behave like an ass. I deserve your story about King. That was no story. Please. That was no story. I didn't make it up, I swear. You didn't? I guess you didn't make up that story you told me either. Forget the story I told you. It couldn't have happened. Couldn't have. You can't fight facts. There's always the postman's sister-in-law's daughter. That's right, there is. And it could be King's, couldn't it, Jeff? Could be. It's got to be. It is. And if there's any doubts in your mind, just remember the dog and the litter of kitten. I remember. And, Jeff, I want you to be the first to know. King's been offered a six-picture deal in Europe, and we'll be gone for years. When did King decide that? Oh, don't be silly. He doesn't even know he's going to accept it, Jeff. <laughs> Here's Big Daddy. Claire. Claire. Sandy just told me. That's a mistake, isn't it? No, King. Do you mind? Mind? For your information, I've been told, not by a quack, but by two company doctors, that I could never be a father. Jeff. <laughs> oh, no. And not this. Uh, we'll discuss it later. We'll discuss it right now. My wife and my best friend. Uh, Sandy, wait in our cabin. Now I want to hear. Stay where you are, Sandy. I, uh, King, I love you. Remember that. No matter what happened, I love you. Remember that, King. You two didn't fool me for a minute. 
Now, wait a minute. I, I wish somebody would tell me what's going on. My wife and my best friend laughing at you. I wasn't laughing at you. We didn't laugh at you. We never laughed at you. Go ahead. Laugh at me now. Oh, laugh at my pills, my health food, my exercises. They work, didn't they? Ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jeff, darling, this has been so much fun. Let's do the same thing next year. <laughs> <laughs> and so, two childless couples are no longer childless. Two men who thought they would never be fathers now find their greatest hopes fulfilled. In conclusion, the power of suggestion is a marvelous thing. It can work at the most unexpected times. Doctor? Can I come in? Doctor, I have a problem. Hey, just a minute. But to be continued, as you were saying. Oh, yes. As I was saying, I have a problem, Doctor, and it's this. You see, my husband and I have been on board the ship for six weeks now, and it's been six weeks of nothing but sick. Sick, sick. He hasn't been out of that cabin once. Well, maybe once. That's one thing. Well, we're going to